You want to try that on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> with the golf shorts. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's... Uh... Even with the golf shorts, it's working for me. <laughs> yeah, that is very cool. We're making an intro. Are you oh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome into our channel. Good morning. <laughs> this is yard sale day in Leola, Pennsylvania. It's about 6.30 and it's raining, but we're going to get out there and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's a yard sale day. It is 6.36 officially, and we are heading over to yard sale country. This always promises to be good. It's an annual sale. The whole community comes out, and we are going to be filling our IKEA bags today. Let's see what we can find. This is beautiful. Boy, that's pretty. I'm wondering if everything is marked or not. This has got a crack on it. Look at you, straight out of the gate. <laughs> Finding those Legos. Lots of Christmas stuff. Driven to outperform 150. I see they have dresses over here. Last yard sale in this community, I picked up probably about 70 dresses, and I think the majority of them are gone. I'm going to see what they want for these dresses. Good morning. How much are your dresses? Five dollars. Are they all in good condition? Do you know, or it's all different? They're lovely. Thank you. And if I bought them all, would you give me a deal on them? I s want to see how many you have. Let me think here. Yeah, I could go as high as 350 a dress. Why don't we count how many there are and that'll give you a better. So um, there's 20, and then this one I would just throw in. I did not sew that one. <laughs> okay, but the rest um, of them are hand handmade? Th yeah, they I all love are. Those. I think this one was even handmade. It's just I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So 20, for, so 10 at 350 would be 30. So that'd be 70. Is that right? Am I doing the math right? Me, um, <laughs> it's early. Might want to check my math. <laughs> Beautiful. So clean. Really nice condition. Yeah, that 350 at 20 would be 70. 70? Would you take 70 um, for the lot? And I understand if you can. I understand they're handmade, but that's what I've got to stick to my budget. Sometimes the yard sailing, I get carried away. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to walk around and you think about it? Yeah, why don't... Yeah. There's a few in here I would prefer not, because this one is, like, basically brand new. Okay. <laughs> so it's, like, very much worth $5. Yeah. Um. So you want to give me a price, then, of what you think? I'll walk yeah. around, and that why way it gives I you time. That? Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> All right. So she is going to consider the 70 and see what she wants for 20 dresses so if I flip each dress for $20 that would be 400 before fees you always got to keep an eye on those pesky fees Jose Bank lots of clothing children's stuff 
free box over there. I always spot the free box. Let's check out what's on these tables. Gonna need an umbrella or my hood. That always works too. USB cables. That's not Tupperware, but the boy is that cute. How could you not be cheery with that little container? That's a basket. Oh, look at these candles. I would never want to light those. That is so pretty. What you finding over there? Are you finding anything? The girl has 20 handmade dresses. I offered her 70 because she wants five a piece. What'd she say? She's thinking about it. She's going to counter. Oh, they've got dresses over here too. Might be an Amish dress or a Mennonite dress kind of day. Good morning. Good morning. Keeping my camera down, I'm just <laughs> vlogging what I'm doing. <laughs> Look at you. Thank you, babe. Helping me out. I've got the IKEA bag, I've got the umbrella, mm -hmm. the water, the phone. It's all a juggling act. Yeah, I like the other ones better. These seem to be juniors. The bigger the dress you can get, guys, the better. A lot of times these are junior sizes. And while they do well, if you can get something that's equivalent to like a ladies extra large or plus size, those are really good. All right, lots of clothing. Let's go back and see what the girl says and see if we can make a deal. <laughs> okay, so 20 dresses, 77.50, beautiful. Do you want me to take them from you so you can keep them? Okay. Yeah, they are heavy. <laughs> 20. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're going to all fit, but. So, hey, you want it? Yep, like yep. Just, Turn you want me to. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of layer back in. Thank yeah, okay, you so much. And are these your dresses over here also? Those are the. Okay, let's take a look yeah. at those. Thank you, honey. Oh, that's a pretty one. Okay. This is a good color. These are patterns four. Four. See, it's tiny though. This one's a little bit, well, I guess they're all gonna be tiny. Oh, that's a beautiful one right there. Um, Five. Okay, I'm gonna go through these and put the camera down. There are yard sales everywhere, even in the rain. People set up tents. I love this. We are out early. Not too many people shopping, so this is really good. Let's go get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this dollhouse. Oh, it's $10. Do we know anybody who needs a dollhouse? I might need a dollhouse. <laughs> I didn't have one when I was little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? This, yeah, my kids had a lot more. I have a lot more than I do. Here's a sweatshirt that says Pennsylvania. Okay. Oops, shoes. How much are your shoes? $2. Katie and Kelly, oh, I like those for me. Oh, they're my size. Those are cute. All right, two dollars for the Nikes. Dollhouse. I don't need a dollhouse, but I might need a doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> when we go on our honeymoon, this is definitely what we have to do. This gives me so much joy. I love yard selling. It's like the thrill of the hunt. Oh, these people have it going on. Double garage. All right. Oh, look at that wooden desk. Oh, it has the inkwell holder. Oh, that's beautiful. Your desk is gorgeous. <laughs> What's that? Not interested. Oh, I think my school days are over. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, here's some. Yeah. I know, I know. We're hoping it holds off, but it's not looking good. Yeah. 
I'm going to take these knobs. A gold ice bucket. Ooh, that's very pretty. Who's making that gold ice bucket? Classic gold. Made in China. Yeah, Oh, your little swan is. Can I make a pile? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, he's really cute. I'm going to take him, too. All right, what else do we see? Some handbags. Fifty cents. That's adorable. I wish there were a couple of them. Twenty-five. So got big eagle on the back. Would they take twenty for this? I'm gonna check them. They'll take twenty for this. This is a good size, I can tell. A large. That is good. Oh, look at all these cars. Some clothing. What do we need? Oh, for today. I thought you meant in life. No. I pictured you pulling me around. That is nice. But you know, putting it in and out of the car is yeah. is a thing. Sometimes you bring a cart and it winds up being more trouble than it's worth. Okay, I'm hoping my camera is not shaky. For some reason, filming, it's been a little shaky. Oh, look at the table and chairs. Now I'm on a whole patio furniture kick. We're gonna have a backyard filled with patio furniture. All right, lots of camping stuff. Where they want $30. Oh, we'd have to paint up. it, right? We don't want to get into that. Holiday greetings. Oh, hand soaps, a collection. It's a Disney puzzle. What is this little vest? Boy, that's tiny. Genuine leather. Oh, it has her name on it. Dallas Marie? Is that what that says? That's so cute. Are these longer burger? They are not. Who is making this? Oh, it is longer burger. Makeup basket. Ten dollars. Mm, a little bit stained. Do you want baskets? No. Really? <laughs> are you changing your ways? Look at that. Herd your horses. Instead of hold your horses. Tinker toys, the old ones. Bumo is good? Yeah, you are good. the toy king. I yeah, am naming you. Like 12, 12 to 15. I never even heard of it. It's a blast to play though. <laughs> <laughs> Those are trails, sleeping bags. $10, they're new. Do we need sleeping bags for camping? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they're nice. $10 each, oh, no. I know, I don't know who yeah. sells Ozark Trail. Might just be Walmart or something. All right, this is looking very campy, tools, boy stuff. <laughs> I'll probably get yelled at for that. Oh. Okay, I must have wanted to live in the Western days. I was attracted by tooled leather, $25. Hmm. You want to try that on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> with the golf shorts. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh, Even with the golf shorts, it's working for me. <laughs> yeah, that is very cool. I don't know what people pay for those, though. No knowledge of that. All right, lots of backpacks, knapsacks. Five dollars. Who's making this one? Beller. Hmm, wish I had better knowledge about all this stuff. Focus, so it's a camera bag. All right. I could wear the gun holster and you could have the arrows. No knives. Remember the last time I think I shot an arrow, I scraped the whole 
side of my arm. You did? Yeah, I was not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you admit it. <laughs> that, that doesn't feel good. No, I can't imagine it does. Fleece lined Green Bay Packers thermal zip. <laughs> ah! Caught it. Carhartt? What are they getting for that? Ten dollars? Okay, no, that sounds good. It's a good size. You have one one of these what are, what are these called? Shoelace end things. Yard sale, yard sale, yard sale, yard sale, yard sale, yard sale, yard sale. <laughs> you get the idea. We're just going to be running from house to house. On Memorial Day in Landisville, Pennsylvania, if any of you are interested, Memorial Day Monday is a massive, we're talking massive town-wide yard sale. Probably, I'm going to guess, three to 400 families come out for it. So I usually hit just about 100 of them. Look at the furniture. How cute is that? I don't know what set that is. And last year, I got a chance to meet probably 15 to 20 of you. One family even came in from Texas, so that was great fun, and I got to meet them. All right, let's scoot across the street and see what they have. Well, at least we don't have music playing, so that's wonderful. Every time I thrift in thrift stores, you're always worried about the music. Getting a copyright strike makes it much more relaxing shopping this way. What is this? Thank you, Bryce. Okay, you Let's have make a great wagon. Oh, that's a Kemi and Kim. That's a very expensive jacket. A Kemi and Kim, uh, yeah. Uh, very expensive. That's my daughter's, actually. And uh, what are you asking for it? I think she's, let me see. I thought she put a price on because she alerted, oh yeah, 10. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it thought. Thank you. Okay, uh-huh. Is this yours? No. Okay. Do you know how much they are? A quarter. Twenty-five cents. T-shirts. Don't see anything there. Huh? How much is your clothing? Are they all different prices? Like what would this be? That's two dollars. I'll take that. Can I make a pile? Sure. Thank you. Okay, $2 for the L.L. Bean jacket. It's a guess winter coat. Winter coats like this, the Parkers or the overcoats, take a very long time for me. Okay. London fog. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to stay. I think I'm wrecking the place. Yard safety first. Okay, that's the London fog again. It's another LL Bean. That's a nice jacket. Looks like new with tags. <laughs> that's not what that says. All right. We will go with the two LL Bean jackets. Who is this? California, somebody or another. I was looking for briar horses. I'm not a big fan of having to comb out hair. I kind of don't do that anymore. <laughs> yep, I used to comb pony hair. <laughs> the stuff a girl does. Okay, I do kind of like that sign, but I can't start with the wool words. This looks like old Junior's clothing. Rubber grapes. <laughs> Napkin rings. Those look interesting. How much do you want for the napkin rings? Two dollars? How much is it? So kind of pretty. There's a 
Queen Comforter over there too, baby shark one on there. If they're like parked. Those are kind of pretty. I'll do those for two. So when you wake up and it's a big yard sale day and you see rain in the forecast, I almost like that as long as it's not pouring out. It holds back the crowds. So Roger and I just bring umbrellas and hoods and hats. <laughs> Lately, my GoPro's been really shaky at certain times, and my followers are saying it's only when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> oh, breakfast. <laughs> breakfast of champions. Yeah, hot dogs and soda. <laughs> Fishing poles. I don't know much about fishing poles. $20 for a glass Pyrex pots and pans set. I don't know much about that either. Toaster oven. each for stickers. I wonder if there are any vintage stickers. I know they can do very well. I'd have to look at the date on each one of them because I don't recognize a vintage sticker from a current one. Do we need horseshoes for the backyard? Sure. Really? <laughs> do you play horseshoes? I used to. Is my yard big enough? Is our yard big enough yeah. for horseshoes? It is? Do we want those? Okay, that means maybe we'll think about it. <laughs> when I was younger and I asked my mom for something, she'd say, we'll see. And we kids all knew that meant we could talk her into it. Five dollars for this hat. Ospa? I don't know who that is. Harley Davidson jacket, 20. Or is that for the stand? Oh, the jacket is 30. I didn't find anything at that last one, so this one's gonna be good. You found a jersey though. Yeah, nice Cal Ripken. Who? Cal, Rip Cal Ripken Jr. Cal, oh, Ripken Jr. <laughs> <laughs> what sport was that? <laughs> Baseball. Okay, oh goodness. His dad actually played too, Cal Ripken Sr. Really? Yeah, but Jr. was a lot better. I'm writing all of this down. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Evidence of my breakfast, yogurt in a cup. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Sorry. Hey, good catch. <laughs> I thought we were being attacked. <laughs> Kitchen a la carte. Huh? Well, Art. Children's clothing. Our uh, pastel. Is this all for sale too? Yes. I don't want to be rummaging through your personal stuff. <laughs> Under Armour, those would probably clean up the washing machine. A pair of Nikes. Where is the other Nike to this? Hmm. Pokemon cards. Do you want more of those? <laughs> They're probably just the the regular ones, right? 
Like I have no idea what I'm talking about. Bingo set. Packs of jewelry. A dollar. I'm gonna go ahead and grab both those packs. Seems like they have some good stuff. Definitely worth a dollar. This is a Pokemon Battle Academy. Whatever that means. Oh, it's plastic. That is kind of cool. I thought it was glass. Five dollars. Is this Peterborough? Yes, it is. It's a nice basket. But they don't do as well for me as Longa Burger does. Did you catch that guy? He said he sold on eBay. The guy that was just here. What are we looking at? I'm more interested in this basket. It's beautiful. Look at that. That's quite that has, something. Like, oh, you can open it up, and there's a tray. That tray lifts out. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and lift it up. And then there's another tray inside. Wow. For oh, that's very beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. And then the lid you can use as a pin cushion. Yeah. That is so pretty. Unfortunately, I don't sell. Oh. <laughs> that is very cool, though. This is a longer burger here. 15. My mom. I was a home ec teacher. Okay, my mom was a seamstress. She yeah. oh, she sewed beautifully. But yeah, I can sew a straight line on my machine. That's about it. <laughs> Do we need a canoe? Do we need that canoe? <laughs> can you canoe? Okay, why do I feel like we would tip this in a hot minute? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so a buyer right before me scooped up a big box of custom jewelry and I am consoling myself with, I don't want to sell jewelry anyway, which really I do. Oh, it's a red wagon. <laughs> oh, we're chasing these people with the red wagon. Those two girls are on it. Not really stuff I would buy. <laughs> Again, consoling. Okay, this is a lot of clothing. Look at these beams. Wow, those are beautiful. I love Goodwood. Do we love Goodwood? 32, 30. Boy, those are beautiful. Probably from an old building. Five dollars for a belt. AWP, made in Mexico, saddle leather. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, 35 handmade. Made in India. That is gorgeous. The dollar box. I think I have the same box at home. Looks just yeah. like that. It's a fake Michael Kors. Uh, looks like mostly movies. I think all movies. Run across the street. Looks like a lot of clothing and a really handsome man. Let me check him out. <laughs> Finding anything? Nothing. Oh, I like this belt. It's got a little turquoise detail on it. Always check the holes. That's where you're going to see the biggest amount of wear. I wonder what they want for that. I'm going to take that if they want a dollar. Okay, this little ginger jar probably needs a top. I do like that. I'm going to wait on that. Still going with the belt. Hmm. This is an old Avon Cameo uh, powder jar. That's pretty. As we were leaving that yard sale, the owner brought out brownies and I guilted him into buying me a brownie <laughs> for breakfast. I had yogurt. Is that the first thing you're eating? <laughs> it is. Brownies for breakfast. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, a composter. 
Did you know I used to make like serious compost? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I, I know how to do it. I'm not doing it anymore. It was a lot of work. Is that for sale? Yeah, That's a nice stone. one, That's yeah. One. I've never heard of that Pro Simon. Pro Simon? No clue. for this bag. If yarn ever becomes more of a thing, we'll all be rich. I see so much yarn. Maybe because it's Pennsylvania. A lot of handcrafts going on here. Ten dollars for the longer burger tissue box. Have you ever bought these tissue box? Yeah. yeah. You have ten dollars. Yeah, this little has the plastic in it. Yeah, I think this one does too. Oh, it does have the. Yeah. Okay. Would you do eight on the tissue holder? You will. Yeah. Thank you. Billy Casper. What they want for that? Five. Probably not bad. I don't know much about. Drivers always do well for me over any other club. Sometimes good putters, like if they're really drivers. unusual. Drivers are the most expensive. Is that what it is? I thought yeah. I thought with men's golf club, the guy's just like hitting that ball you know, like, like crazy. Like a good driver, you can spend three to four hundred dollars. Oh yeah, true, true. Or more, or a lot more. How much would you like to raise that by? <laughs> <laughs> a lot more. What are we talking? Uh, some of them get a good oh, this floor is great. We could put this in the garage. I really like this floor. We just put this right over the cement. And we won't have to paint or anything. I've never seen that Scrabble alphabet game. I've never seen that. They're paper. Oh, are they? I think so. Cardboard. Plastic? Plastic. <laughs> it's heavy. That's really heavy. Well, heavy with one hand while I'm trying to hold everything else. Oh, you're right. Look at you, you know. Two dollars. We'll do a scaredy cat for two dollars. Handmade. Bubba Gump. Hey Roger, did you see these? No. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> Gump. Yeah. Oh, is this, what does this one say? What is that, coveralls too? Men's coveralls? Like a... Dickies. How much is it? Oh, so Dickies is sold where in Kmart? Puzzles, $5 each. Oop, how 
which is that big shell. It's a little bit cracked. The cutest dog. Yeah. What's his name? Minnie. Minnie. Oh, is it a girl or a boy? A girl. A girl. Hi, Minnie. It's oh, a girl. adorable. A pony drawn cart. That is yard selling in style for sure. Five dollars. A little bit of rough shape. It's a luster wear canister set. Twenty dollars. A little bit of chipping in the mouth of the jar. All spice. There's the oil cruet. Missing its top. All right, I'm not even sure if I'm recording because my battery is dying. This is yard sale number 26. <laughs> That's what it feels like anyway. Oh, Easton bad. Oh, I remember that game. Hey Roger, do we want this game for the back backyard? The golf thing? Have you ever played that? No, oh, yeah, ladder golf. Is that oh you even know the name? I guess you have played. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing against you if you know the name of it. <laughs> yeah, it's called ladder golf. Can you make you one of those? Point, like, Every time oh, for the different colors I too of how long is, they are. The bottom is three, I yeah. think. Maybe okay. Middle, it's three, two, one. We're gonna need that in cornhole. Cornhole, yep. I do like this little bench here. Oh, that bench is really nice. Two dollars. I almost want that. Okay, yard sale number 473. <laughs> so Roger has eaten a whoopie pie, a brownie. <laughs> Let's go see what these people have in the pouring rain. Okay, just got out of the car and I'm taking two seconds to appreciate these iris. Aren't these beautiful? I think these are bearded iris, and I just thought this was so lovely. Okay, just found this gorgeous wool blanket. Whip stitching, 100% wool. Beautiful colorway, gorgeous red with a black stripe. Now it's not a Hudson blanket or a Pendleton, but the quality on this is lovely. This is just a little bit of water from the rain. So pretty. You won't get anything warmer than a 100% wool blanket. Really nice for a dollar. Okay, I think this is going to be the last of the yard sales for today. It has been quite rainy out, but we have braved it. We have done really well. We have filled the car once again. Really good stuff. I will try to show you guys in the next video what we wound up getting. Because I know with the rain and everything, I wasn't really able to show things that clearly. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Here are the few pieces that I found by the side of the road. So I went to Home Goods yesterday, you know, just to mosey around, wasn't really planning on buying anything. And their umbrellas were a really good price, $99. So I figured I would pick this up because the patio does get morning sun. Thank goodness it doesn't get the afternoon sun. That would be really needing, you know, to have an awning or something over the patio. But I did on my way home spot these two chairs and this table. Somebody was throwing them out. I love free. Can I just say how much I love free? So they are in great shape. They were quite dirty. I did spend part of yesterday scrubbing them up and I pulled the pillow covers off of the cushions. Cushions look nice and clean, but the pillows were stuffed with like this weird fiber fill stuff. So I got rid of that and put two old pillows in the cases that I had. I did wrap the pillows in some plastic just to keep it a little more weatherproof, but I stuck these in the machine. This is just mainstays, I think, which is what, Walmart? And they came out nice and clean. So this morning I'm just gonna put the covers back on the cushions and get it set up and we should be good to go. So here's the umbrella and chairs set up. I might wind up using the umbrella in this table. I wasn't quite sure how to get the base um, pipe in that bottom rung. So I have to figure that out. That might need a different hole. In other words, the hole to receive the umbrella is smaller on this than the pole, but we'll see. I might have to just get a smaller umbrella. I don't know if this size patio can handle that, 
but here are my garbage find chairs. I'm pretty happy with this. Not perfect, but definitely really good for free.